Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Moonlacker. In today's video, I am doing more hauls from my stack of polishes that I've purchased since about March that I still have yet to unbox. In fact, both of these purchases are from March. We have the month of Hella Handmade Creations as well as the limited edition purchase that I made from Mooncat back in March. I think you can guess which one that was. So yeah, we have a lot of fun stuff to look at. I did also buy a sticker from Mooncat. I think that was to reach the free shipping threshold. And I have, in fact, already worn one of the moon cats. But before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about what is on my nails. I am wearing two of the polishes that I recently hauled, both from Sassy Sauce. So on my left hand is Fierce Mojo. This is that magnetic that has a purpley base with a beautiful shifting shimmer in the magnetic pole. I know it's on my nails, but there it is in the bottle. Yeah, this one is utterly gorgeous. I love, love the combination. It's very fiery. And in fact, that gold to orange fiery shift does have a golden green shift. So in other lights, it's going to be an electric green, like moon cat green, like that slime green and a shift to gold. So that is even more shifty than I thought. And then on my right hand is Lavender Haze. Both of these were Polish and Beauty Expo exclusives that I bought in Overpour from the website, and I'm very glad that I grabbed them. This one is a larger particled shimmer. The base is a blackened purple, and then you have that larger particled shifting shimmer and a magnetic pull in a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant purple. It is utterly gorgeous. So I love both of those so, so much. All right, let's go ahead and dig in. So the polish that I got from Mooncat was their limited edition Portrait of an Introvert. And this was one that so many people were super, super excited to see. I, in fact, really hope that she does an entire series of introvert polishes because there's so many of us shy introvert people out there. And this one really just spoke to me when it was released. So I ended up grabbing two. I still have the second one in the box. I haven't unpacked that at all. But as I mentioned, I have already worn this on my nails probably the very month that it came in the mail, and it was stupendous. So as you can see in the bottle, it is a beautiful blue. It has a lot of different particles in here, everything from shimmer to multichromatic flakes to iridescent flakes. There's hollow. Now, this all is in a clear base. The blue that you're seeing is from the different particles that you're seeing, the multichromatic flakes, the blue glowing shimmer. So when you do this in one coat, you could put this over any color and use it as a topper. But when I wore it on my nails, I only did two coats and it was beautiful. So here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. And as you can see, when you have backlight, you definitely still see through it. Like I said, this one is in a clear base, but when this was on my nails, two coats was all I needed. And I was very happy with the amount of opacity. I was distracted by all of the beautiful ingredients that I was seeing, the intense glow, the amazing color. I mean, this was absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite polishes that I've worn this year, although I do have quite a few of them that I've really been enjoying, but yeah, very happy that I did go ahead and grab a backup bottle of this. I know I've mentioned in the past, pretty recently in fact, um, that I'm trying not to keep backup bottles of polishes, but at the same time, for very, very special, like meaningful to me polishes like this, I couldn't help it. And I am very happy, like I said, that I did grab two bottles because this is a polish that I definitely foresee myself wearing. Since I have two bottles, I won't have to worry about feeling like I'm going to run out at any point or have to save it for just special occasions or anything like that. But very beautiful one. Like I said, I, I hope that she comes out with maybe one a year or two a year would be nice. But I mean, this was back in March and now we're in August and I have yet to see another one, but it would be nice to see more on that same thing. But in any case, that was Portrait of an Introvert by Mooncat. Then the second bottle that I got in that haul was House of Hades. This is one of those colors that I had been eyeing before and I just hadn't grabbed it. But when I decided to go ahead and make that purchase of Portrait of an Introvert in order to get that free shipping threshold, I did need to add at least one other polish 
and a sticker <laughs> to get to that free shipping threshold. So I ended up grabbing this one and it is very, very pretty. It is a purple polish with a very impactful blue glow. And as you can see, there's also a larger particle, that green fleck, that's gonna catch the light in certain lighting. This one I did go ahead and amp up to three coats because it is a jelly formula. And unlike Portrait of an Introvert, there's nothing in here really that is opaque on its own. There's not any of those uh, multi-chromatic flakes to give you a sense of opacity. So for this one, I did go ahead and do three coats with a glossy top coat. And as you can see here, it is nice and inky beautiful color here. I don't know if that purple is coming through very well on camera, but as you can see, it's nice and opaque in those three coats. This is another one where I do feel like some nail lengths might be okay with two coats, but I'm just not sure if you would get this rich color with only two coats, but there's that blue glow. And then hopefully beyond that, you can see the purple there in the bubble. You can sort of see it, but yeah, beautiful color. I'm very happy that I finally did go ahead and grab that one. So that was Mooncat's House of Hades. And then here's that sticker. I grabbed their little Cat on a Moon Mooncat sticker. It is holographic and beautiful. I still need to decide what I'm doing with all of my stickers, but I've always been that way with stickers, even, you know, as a 80s, 90s child and kid. Stickers were a big thing back in the day, and I remember not ever knowing what I was supposed to do with them because if I stuck them on anything, then they're permanent. <laughs> and then what if you wanted to move them or you got rid of the binder or you got... Anyways, I'm still like that, apparently. Um, decisions like that uh, always leave me with too many possibilities. But in any case, I had to get the hollow kitty on a moon <laughs> because hello, moon, wild moon, that's me, moon cat. <laughs> It just works. But in any case, that's the sticker. All right, so that was my little haul from Mooncat. Now we're moving on to my rather large order from Hella Handmade Creations for March. We, of course, got our little candies that they include. So these are squishy jelly candies in pineapple. They are delicious. And then because my purchase was as high as it was, I did qualify for the freebie for that month from Hulu Moon. This time they sent out the Far Outie Milky Base Coat. So this is a base coat and that is definitely going to be something that I get some good use out of. I can always use more base coats and top coats because those I go through with every single Manny. All right, so let's go ahead and see what I got for that month. I purchased eight polishes, which is a pretty big haul for me from Hella Handmade Creations. I feel like that's the number that I oftentimes end up with for polish pickup because polish pickup is so big. Hella Handmade Creations doesn't have quite as many vendors participating, so it's harder for me usually to get up to eight polishes, but some of these were restocks. So we had two from Bees Knees Lacquer that I had missed out on first that I decided to go ahead and grab because they were available again. And I think those were the only two. Yeah, I think the rest of these were actually for March for that month of Hella Handmade Creations. So the first one that I grabbed is from Cuticula. This one is called Night Thorns. We are starting it out with a purple polish. Surprise, surprise. This is a lovely shade. It's kind of a dark moody color. It is loaded with holographic flakes and then a green shifting shimmer. I think there at the edge, you can see it sort of shifting to a shade of blue as well. This one I did in just two coats with a glossy top coat. This one was nice and opaque for me in just these two coats. I don't think too many people would need a third coat, although perhaps if you have super long nails, you might need a third, but this one was nice and opaque. And as you can see, you get a lot of those holographic bits and that beautiful dark purple color. I will say on this one, the shift in that shimmer isn't as obvious once it's on the nail, but you can kind of see it there in just a light wash that's catching the light, but beautiful dark color there. So that first one was Cuticula's Night Thorns. Next up, I got Cleona Cosmetics Kiki, and this is one that really caught my attention because of the holographic aspect and the color. So this is a deep rosewood sort of a color. It's got a pinch of a purple quality to it. It's got that rose quality to it, but it also has a pinch of a brown that really grounds this color and makes it darker than a lot of the other shades in this color range. And then you can see that beautiful holographic flame. 
So this one was a beautiful two-coater as well. Here it is with a glossy top coat. Like I said, this color mixes so many different shades together. It's kind of a purple. It's kind of a rose pink. You have almost this wash of a pink glow that's maybe a secondary shimmer. And then of course you have that lovely holographic flame as well. This is another beautiful deep shade. Very, very pretty. So that one was Cleona Cosmetics Kiki. Next up is one of my favorite brands. This is Garden Path Lacquers My Pet What. And this is one that I was super excited about and I think you can see why. Look at all the colors. This one is really hard to pinpoint what the base is because you're seeing so many different colors, but there are a number of things that are creating this color. But the base itself, I think, is just clear. If I am reading it correctly, all of the shift is coming from that beautiful shimmer and then you have pink reflective glitter. I think there's also like a purple reflective glitter or a purple micro glitter. There's something else adding purple and then around the edges you can see more purple in that shifting shimmer. This one is utterly gorgeous. This is one of the formulas from this maker that I could just look at all day. I love all of the different components, how they come together. It is absolutely jaw-dropping. So, so glad I got this one. So here it is in just two coats with a glossy top coat. Considering this is basically a sheer base, I was really surprised at how opaque this was in just these two coats. And you guys, this is absolutely fantastic. I love this one. You can see that beautiful shifting shimmer in that green glow. But then as it catches the light, you're going to get those twinkles of the pink and the purple. And then of course that shimmer is shifting as well. Yeah. This is a favorite for sure. I am so glad I finally have this unboxed so that I can wear it. It's probably going to go in my need to wear sooner rather than later pile, which I actually need to put together because I currently have a lot of the polishes that I've hauled just sort of sitting in a pile over to my left. But yeah, got to get this one on my nails. It is so gorgeous. So that was Garden Path Lacquers My Pet What? Next up is by Vanessa Molina, and this one is called Secret Agent. This is another one that has reflective glitter. This time I think they are in a light pink, and then you have a shifting shimmer component as well, this time in a very squishy blue base. Now I will say for a lot of the ones that I end up getting from by Vanessa Molina and Phoenix, they do end up being very very sheer, like jelly sheer, not just squishy, but very, very sheer. And I don't know how much of that is just when I swatch on clear nails. They, that's just how it goes. But um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes on my nails. But this is three coats. And as you can see, it is still very, very sheer. You can see right through to my nail underneath, but it is very pretty. I just feel like with this sort of a formulation, I'm going to have to see how it looks on my natural nails or I'm going to have to do a blurring base coat because I do have staining on my nails, not necessarily from one specific polish, but just in general, since I wear polish 24 seven, my nails are stained. So I can't have something super duper sheer like this on it without you seeing right through to my nails. And um, that's not quite the look I'm going for. So we're going to have to see how I can play around with this one. I'm most likely going to wear this over a, another color, maybe a crelly, like a, a slightly more opaque finish, not a super duper like straight cream because that would completely change how this looks, but it is a very pretty color. I do like the larger particled shimmer component in here and the reflective glitter always has a nice twinkle to it. It is a very light pink, so it's not going to have as much of an impact as the one in Garden Path Lacquer that had that brighter pink, but you can see it twinkling there nicely. So yeah, I'll just have to see how I end up wearing it, but it is a very pretty color. That was by Vanessa Molina's Secret Agent. Speaking of sheer, quite a number of these upcoming ones are quite squishy. This next one is by Phoenix, and this is You Made Me a Believer. This one is a flake bomb. I mean, look at that huge one. There are so many huge flakes in this one, all in a squishy pinky purple base. These are what I like to call like a mylar type flake where they are, oh my gosh, another huge one floating away there, where they are iridescent, but they do feel more opaque than your standard clear iridescent flake or glitter. They have more, I don't know, density to their iridescence. I don't know what the technical term is, but they bounce back so much so that they look more opaque, but they are still just an iridescent. They aren't a multi-chromatic finish. But yeah, I mean, look at all these huge, 
huge flakes. It is super impressive. So this is it in three coats with a glossy top coat. And like I mentioned, this one is another absolutely sheer polish. It is a jelly squishy formula in no two ways about it. It is super duper sheer. This is one I'm probably only gonna use as a topper. And in fact, maybe that is what this was. It might have been the topper to like their duo because a lot of these Brazilian brands do do a polish and then a matching topper. But yeah, so I, I actually don't know if that's what this one was meant for. And maybe the Vanessa Molina was also meant as the topper. But in any case, this flake is very, very pretty. This will make a beautiful topper over a lot of different colors because of the amount of flakes that you have and how shifty they are. But yeah, it is definitely definitely a jelly. So that one was Phoenix Indie Polish. You made me a believer. Next up is one of the Bees Knees Lacquer that I ended up grabbing from the overpours of their eighth anniversary polishes. This one is Meteor Mancy, and this one is a squishy purple with a larger particle to blue glow. Now this one is definitely a jelly as well. It maintained a pretty sheer consistency even in three coats, as you can see here. So it is still very, very squishy. I'm gonna, again with this one, have to see how I end up wearing it because this kind of a color, I don't know how it would look super duper sheer on my nails again because of the staining. But at the same time, I love that blue glow and I love the base color. So I'll probably end up wearing this over maybe a milky pink to sort of help block the staining on my nails, but not so opaque that you're gonna completely change how this polish looks, the squish factor and all of that. So we'll have to see how I end up wearing that, but I do love that blue glow. So that was Bees Knees Lacquer Meteor Mancy. And then the secondary polish that I got from Bees Knees Lacquer is Lava Mancy, also from their eighth anniversary overpours. And this one is a beautiful, like grape fruity, orangey pink with a slightly larger particle shifting shimmer that goes from green. And then you can see purple there at the edges of the bottle. You can also see some shifts to blue as well. This one I also needed three coats with a glossy top coat. This one is slightly more opaque, and I do mean just ever so slightly more opaque. I think some nail lengths might be okay with this without a blurring base coat, but again, for my nails, I'm probably gonna have to put this over something at least slightly more opaque to give myself that bit of a boost in opacity, but we'll have to see. Um, I have surprised myself sometimes with these squishier formulas from Bees Knees Lacquer and only ended up wearing them in two coats. So, I mean, you just never know. <laughs> sometimes these swatches of the squishy formulas on clear nail swatches just really don't give it a realistic expectation of what they're going to look like on your nails, but it is a beautiful color. So that was Bees Knees Lacquer Lava Mancy. And then the last polish that I got is a Sassy Sauce. This is Buckle Up Buttercup. And this one is a beautiful vampy shade, again with reflective glitter. This time we are dealing with a very dark, almost like blackened Bordeaux base. You have a red shimmer and then gold reflective glitter. In fact, I think there might be two different kinds of reflective glitter. I think there might even be purple reflective glitter as well as the gold. This is one that I feel like I almost didn't get, but I'm really glad that I did end up grabbing it because you guys, this is so pretty. Here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. And in fact, this one, I would suggest a glitter smoother and then a top coat. So I'm gonna do a second coat of top coat on this one because with that glossy, glossy, glossiness of a thicker top coat on this one, you guys, this is utterly stunning. Here it is in two coats with two coats of glossy top coat. Look how vampy that is. It is so, so pretty. You have that deep, deep base and then that glow from the red shimmer, the twinkles from the reflective glitter components. This is so pretty. Very, very happy I got this one. I shouldn't be surprised that I like this because the deeper wine shades were one of the first shades of red that I absolutely fell in love with a good, gosh, 17, 18 years ago. <laughs> so I shouldn't be surprised that I like this one, but I think I was a little bit hesitant about how simplistic the formula was. I mean, I know it's got a shimmer and reflective glitter, but it's not like it's a magnetic or a hollow or anything like that. So it by comparison, it's kind of a more simplistic formula, but wow, I am impressed with this one. It is so, so gorgeous. So very happy I ended up grabbing that one. So that last polish was Sassy Sauce Buckle Up Buttercup. And there we have it. That was two little hauls that I got back in March that I'm finally sharing with you guys. Let me know which ones were your favorites down below. Of the Moon Cat, I gotta say it is super easy to pick a favorite of that. 
portrait of an introvert all the way. This, like I said, is sort of me in a bottle. <laughs> Even though purple is my favorite color, blue is a very close second. And yeah, this one is just right up my alley. I absolutely adore it. More introvert polish, please. <laughs> then as far as the polishes of my favorites down here in the Hella Handmade Creations. Sadly, I do think this one is easier for me to pick some favorites from because there was so many sheer polishes in this one. Garden Path Lacquer, absolutely up there in my favorites, as is the Sassy Sauce. Those are my top two picks from this entire haul from Hella Handmade Creations. This might have been one of those hauls where I could have talked myself out of a few. I probably could have talked myself out of uh, sadly, some of the Bees Knees lacquer, they're just squishier than I thought they would be. So we'll have to see how I end up wearing them. And then the Phoenix and by Vanessa Molina, <sighs> true to pattern. Um, like I said, uh, so many of the times that I get them, they are way, way sheerer than I am anticipating. So maybe I just keep accidentally getting the toppers and then forgetting that that's what they are. But in any case, that's why it's so easy this month for me to pick my top two garden path and sassy sauce all the way i adore both of those in any case hopefully you guys had a good time hanging out with me and looking at beautiful polish if you're new think about hitting that little subscribe button down below that way you don't miss out on any of my new videos hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in that next one